Yeah, man, it's it's crazy right now, the market. And if you're just getting started trying to buy your first house, like it's never been harder. And that's the tough part about it is there's no inventory like literally anywhere. You know, everything's a bidding war and you're going to pay, you know, top dollar right now. And I think in a lot of places, rents haven't caught up to the appreciation. You know, typically rents are going to lag from the pricing. So we're experiencing so much appreciation and rents like haven't caught up yet. So it's like tough to pencil the numbers in as a rental unless you're in like a Midwest market or you're putting a lot of money down on the house and trying to get your payment lower. So it, it's mu it's much more difficult today than ever before. I'll say that. What year did you start buying real estate? I bought my first house back in 2011. I was ah, same year, same year as me. Damn meant to be yeah so i was 22 at the time mm -hmm. right around your age yeah, too it's 21 and um yeah i bought it with an fha loan which i highly recommend people do if they're just starting like low down payment as possible and dude i bought it for 160 grand literally like five minutes from here mm. and if you can imagine for 160 five minutes from here and uh <laughs> it's worth probably about four five? to five hundred now wow yep are you renting it right now no, I sold it. I sold you it sold like it. two years later. Yeah. And what do you do? Did you just use that profit to buy another yeah. place? Yeah. That's what so, you did. Okay. Yeah. I had to keep turning my money over and over to continue to build up. You know, if, if I ever kept a rental, I, I wouldn't have been able to live <laughs> that. The only way I made money was by flipping houses and just continuing. That was my income. Got it. What'd you end up selling it for? I sold it two years later for two twenty, like right around there. Um, we put a little bit of money into it, not a lot, but, and, and, and even then it wasn't even like I got a great deal. It was just appreciation had happened. So yeah. I think that was cool. I ended up rolling that profit into my next house, which I bought for, where did I buy that one for 170 and I sold that one two years later for 240, you know, kind of the same deal again, mm -hmm. appreciation. And I've kind of just every two years go have gone to a new primary because you know, you get tax free capital gains and, you know, luckily my income was increasing and, you know, I got a family now, so we had to keep getting a bigger home. So yeah, that, that's kind of how I got started. And I think it's a great way for other people to get started is, you know, buying a personal residence just with an FHA loan. 